This episode has been brought to you by FlowState, the unlimited web flow development service. Find out more at flowstate.dev. Hello and welcome to another episode of Webflow and Code, where I teach you the underlying code you're writing in Framer. Today we're going to be looking at code components and specifically how to use CMS values inside of your code components. So we have a rating system here where the user can upload a rating to the CMS. We use that number from the CMS and generate a number of stars inside of our design. So fairly straightforward. It was something I encountered on my weekly streams as I discovered new tools. Spent two hours with Framer. I'll leave a link to that stream somewhere. And I thought it'd be a good idea to share with you how I went about doing that. So without further ado, here are CMS collection values inside of our code components. Okay, so this is essentially what we're gonna create is this review thing, um, and more specifically, this star rating system. So let's delete everything we have here and start from fresh, and let's create a new collection and call it reviews, okay? Edit fields. And we're happy with, this, with the, the title. We're gonna use that as a name, uh, the slug you need, and then the content is gonna be called review, just so it's nice and clear. We're gonna add a number called rating. We're gonna let the default be one, just because we always want the user to uh, have a star rating. And then we're gonna set a minimum and a maximum. And we're going to step, and this is interesting, we're not going to look at it today, but you could step up by 0.5 here. But we're just going to make sure we always step up by one and that will lock to the next nearest value. Uh, we could have a slider, we could have a stepper, probably stepper would be better in this instance. And then we're going to have an image so you can upload your own uh, photo. Uh, description required, yes, default, no, that looks all good to me. So now we're going to add a new item. We'll add three items here. We'll add me, uh, Gregory. We're going to give, I'm going to give it a uh, maybe five star. We'll go five stars because I'm generous. And let's go to our design and just copy this lorem ipsum text. Okay. Of course, we need a photo. So we'll use my classic, my classic profile image, which is already a square. Let's add a couple more. Leonardo Job, he's the designer I work with to put together these designs. And then we'll add one more, our friend, Tony Wan. Some of this, cool. So we've got our CMS set up, let's get on with designing. So I'm gonna add in a collection list here. Do this sideways, make it circular four pixel border, so they all kind of look the same. That looks good to me. I'm not gonna make you wait for all this design work, so let's just speed this up and get it done. Cool, so I've got my designs uh, kind of as I want them. Maybe just spread that out a little bit, no problem. Um, and we wanna create a new code component. So we go to assets and down here to code, we want to create a new code component and we'll go star rating. And here we go, we've got ourselves a just a default blue box and it's gonna be nothing special. Let's just delete all this junk because we don't need it. Uh, we can leave that, we can leave that, probably just do this for now and container styles, we won't need that. Um, brilliant. So we want to be able to give this component the ability to receive values that we can then use inside the component. This is going to be where all of the magic is. Copy this code and I'll take you through it. So the first value here is going to be the component that you're going to add these property controls to, and we're going to add it to star rating. And then you've got, I'll leave the link to the documentation below, but you can then set out, um, in fact, quotes is not one that we want. Um, you can set out a bunch of values that define what values you can accept. So there are arrays, you can ex expect other components, you can expect numbers, all this sort of stuff that basically gives the user an interface to work with so that they know what sort of stuff they can pass this component. So we are gonna, we're gonna name this rating, we're gonna name this value rating, and this will make more sense later on, but we're gonna give it a type of number. 
and then we're going to give it a title of rating. This can be whatever you want. And you can also give it a description, um, which we're not really going to rely on because we'll, as you know, we'll be passing this from the CMS, but um, give the review a rating. But for argument's sake, let's do that. And let's just add a blank div in here just so it doesn't stop, doesn't start complaining to me. This has got, oh, don't know why they did that. Cool. So let's go back into here. And we're going to get our assets, go down to code components and drag in our card rating just there. And over on the side, we've got star rating and you can see that that's accepting a number. We've got a little slider there. We're going to bind this to a variable received from the, the CMS. OK, and this will be rating. If we open up our star rating here, console.log props, we've bound that rating to a prop called rating here so if we do this rating play the website we should see in our console console we've got a rating here so we're getting that value inside of our component so we have our number let's go const rating value and make that there so it makes it sense now from that number, we essentially want to create the, the number of stars that are relative to the, the value that they gave. And the remaining are empty stars. So what I've got here, I've got an SVG, paste this in. We'll do it here just to keep it out of the way. And this is a React component here, right? It's just a function that returns uh, JSX or pretty much HTML, okay? And we've named this whole star and i've got one here as well for an empty star i'm going to create an array of five because there's always going to be a maximum of five stars and i'm going to check the index against the that the rating that the user has passed in and if it's less than or equal then i want to render a full star otherwise i'm going to render an empty star we're going to make an array and we're probably just going to go no 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 and now we can loop through this array. And so we can go re ratings and dot map. What map's doing is gonna loop over and return a value for every item in the array. So it doesn't matter what the value is in the array. Most of the time you're gonna use what the value is in the array. But in this instance, we're gonna loop over it and return either whole start or full start. So let's map. And the first item is gonna be, well, the first item is gonna be null. So we will, um, Let's just do unused, okay? And then the second argument is really where the magic is gonna happen, and that's gonna be the index. So here we go. If index plus one is greater than or equal to rating value, then we want to return a whole star. And we're going to use this and JSA, React and JSX does all this magic. So you don't really have to worry about it too much, but we're going to do that. Else return empty star. I think you're seeing that there, that that looks good. It's complaining about something. So let's just have a little dip into the console. Stroke width. So it's whinging about this one here. Clean that up a little bit. Let's go here and just see what we've got. This is it. It's working. So what we've got here, let's just recap. We've got a CMS collection that allows the user or client to put in a rating system. And we've created a code component that accepts one of the values into it as a prop. Go into the code here. Scroll down here, we've got access to props here, and we've given a property control with a name of rating, and so we can access that rating as a value inside a code component. Let's just clean that up. And we're looping over each item in this array. You could just as easily just do this. It doesn't really need to have its own thing. And we're using the index to check whether index plus one, because remember index is always start at zero, and checking that the value of that is 
less than or equal to the prop stop rating. If it is, then we return a full star. Otherwise, we're going to return empty star. So I hope that was helpful. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, happy no coding.